Hey guys, it's Chris here, and this is probably one of the most requested videos that I get, and I'm going to do a whole series on these where I'm going to do head-to-head -head repricer reviews. I'm going to do BQL, I'm going to do Aura, Go Aura, I should say, which is the one I currently use, and I'm going to use, do one on Seller Snap. I'm really excited about these, um, and I'm going to try to be honest with these, and up front with these and I want to start with Aura because it's what I am currently using. So let me begin, um, Aura has been on the market for like less than a year, maybe about a year. Um, it works very well. Uh, Jonathan Barron turned it on to me and the guy that runs it, his name's Dylan, he's a very, very nice guy, um, is really putting out a really good product. Now there are definitely some issues with Aura and we're going to talk about those in a moment, but let's start. Let's start with the positives. And I'm not even trying to be like, oh, there's so many problems, we gotta start with, with with positives. No, there's not a lot of problems with Aura. I really like Aura, but I'm gonna show you some issues with it in a moment. Many of which I think are gonna be fixed very soon because they're really, they're, they're um, uh, kind of ease of living uh, issues that would be pretty easy to fix. So let's start with some positives. So firstly, it's super clean. Okay, the layout, the setup, everything about it looks super nice. That doesn't really make me any money, but boy is it nice. And it really, really is a very nice looking piece of software. Now I am editing some stuff out here because I don't really like sharing my sales numbers, but you guys can kind of get the idea of um, what's going on here. You have a really nice setup here where it shows you your sales. Um, if you hover over it, it'll show you your revenue, your profit, your estimated profit. It's very, very nice. That is so nice about Aura. Um, now, and it just, it's responsive. That's very, very nice. Now, so this is the main page here, okay, your your overview. And it just has some nice charts and, and that kind of stuff, which you can, kind of, I th believe you can customize these. I've never really bothered with it that much but it is all very, very nice, very clean looking. Now let's take a look here. We're looking here at what they call the dashboard. Let's look at some listings here. Okay guys, so these are our listings. Now, um, again, I'm sorry that I have to like edit so much out of this, but I really, I'm trying not to reveal my storefront, not to reveal, you know, what's going on and kind of like what I'm doing. But that being said, um, looking through here everything is so nice and clean everything just works and that's really nice okay it's it's really nice coming from you know maybe software that is a little bit slower um, not not saying any of them are bad or anything but this is nice and you know what I also want to before I dive into the listing page really give another compliment about aura um, and I realize this is just gonna sound like I'm just like compliment an aura here um, it's very nice with aura that the people that run it are so responsive I did have some issues when I first got started where something wasn't repricing the way that I thought it would sent and opened it I opened a ticket with them and literally within like half an hour it was solved like it was I was doing something wrong and they showed me how to do it right and that's really nice I have not seen that with other softwares like BQL and um, an inventory lab, inventory lab, or not inventory lab, um, BQL and App Eagle, or it's Inform now. Okay, so Informed, I've had issues with when I used to use them, and they were not very responsive. And BQL is garbage when it comes to customer service. So just the fact that these people even that that they even do any customer service puts them head and shoulders uh, among some above some of their competitors, but. Uh, they do very good customer service. So that's really good. So let's look at this. And this is where I kind of have some problems. So this is like where you're going to do most of your issue, most of your stuff. And let me show you how easy it is here to do repricing. So this first strategy here, this uh, this first item here, this is an item I picked up, liquidation. Um, I am looking at this on a very wide screen. For some reason, it won't get narrower for me. Um, if I make it, there we go. Um, so there we can kind of see um, the important information. Sweet. Okay, so 
it'll show us, you know, like what our fees are, how many we have inventory in inventory. So let me just show you actual repricing, how I'd actually do this. So um, I'm going to use this strategy here. I'm going to use my general strategy here. Okay. And my buy cost on this was $299. Um, the current price uh, on Amazon is going to be $16.99. And uh, my min price is already set. I'm going to actually bump that up because I don't want to go down that far. I'm going to go to uh, $14. Bucks. Um, I'm not going to dive into setting up strategies for BQL in this video. Or I'm sorry, for Go Aura in this video. I'm not going to do that. But I will go into it in a different video. Okay. But you can see, that's all I had to do. Oh, and then I got to turn on repricing. That's it, okay? It's integration with Inventory Lab is very nice. There's only been a few times that I've seen an item not pull the price correctly, um, and that was when it really first happened. So since then, everything's been 100%. It's really, really works very well, okay? Now, we've kind of written a love letter to go over here and now there are some issues so one of the problems that I have is that there's no good way from this page to see if I have not repriced something okay so if we look here this filter here there's no way to filter by not repriced if you don't have a strategy in it's not going to reprice if you don't have repricing enabled it's not going to reprice now I can sort by repricing enabled but if I accidentally forget to put in a strategy, it's not going to work. So every now and then you got to go through and you have to um, go in and make sure that you don't have any stuff with strategy none. That's not an issue with BQL, okay? BQL, Goara, or BQL and Informed both have a feature to see stuff that is not actively repricing. Goara, as far as I know, does not. Now, I also do like another thing that they do. They do have your status here, your quantity here. So we can even do a sort by quantity, which is very nice. So I can see my items that I have the most of, 112 in there. Um, and that'll be a good one when I get that in. That'll be nice. Um, so you can definitely see, you know, the, the information they do have is good, but um, you will have, there's just, some stuff that's not there and that is frustrating now they do have status here where we can see our active stuff that's kind of a little uh, useless I've never really seen something come in as inactive so you can see the menu is very responsive which is really nice like there have been repricers that I've used particularly BQL that just are bogged down okay now I use this with uh, Chrome and it works really really well now I'm not going to dive into strategies here, but I will show you the strategies page. Okay, so this is the strategies page, pulls right up, nice and responsive, and it shows very nicely what strategies there are, you know, what's doing what, and it works very well. And again, I can't talk about how nice and snappy Goor is, but my criticism is this. They've been saying that they're going to roll out with AI uh, repricing for like since the beginning, and it's never come. There's other features that they say that they're going to do, but they just kind of aren't rolling out any features. This feels like a beta at best. There's so few features, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. BQL is a prime example of too many features in a repricer. This is a prime example of not enough. There needs to be a balance. They have added some features, but it is still really lacking some features. It also has slowed down a little bit. There's been a few times where I just feel like it's not repricing as quickly as it was when it first started. I don't know why that would be. Um, I actually have less SKUs now than I did when I first started with them, so it should be faster. But it's still very good. Okay, it's that's not like unusable, it's not untenable, but it's not as fast as I believe that it once was. Maybe that's an illusion, so take that with a grain of salt, but I'm just saying that. Also, there's been a couple times that I've been using it where it stopped working and something happened where I had to re-enter my MWS keys. That's happened to me twice, 
And it's also just happened to a friend of mine. So if all of a sudden your repricing turns off, make sure that you're um, still enabled with your NWS keys. Um, but, you know, it works really well. Let's do a quick recap. Inventory Lab integration. So it pulls your items or your item price from Inventory Lab. It's super nice. Really. Super nice. Super fast. It, the AI is clean. It's zippy. It's fast. Like real fast. Customer support is excellent. It does have some good features, which I'll go into when I do, I'm going to do a video right now about strategies. Okay. So I'm going to release this as a review and then release a video about strategies next. So, um, I'll go into the, that more. Okay. Um, so it has good stuff to make strategies, but I feel that it could have more. It could have a lot more and still not be overwhelming. Um, and I feel that it may have slowed down a little bit. So, um, but the guys that are writing this and doing BQ, or I'm sorry, that are doing GoArt, they've been super responsive. And they actually, I know that they just hired some new developers to add more features. So we're going to see what's up. Um, and hopefully this gets, you know, resolved where they start doing AI repricing. Because that would be really exciting. That would be really, really exciting. And if they can do that and do what I believe they can do with it, this will be the best repricer on the market. Okay, it's just missing a couple key features and a couple quality of life issues. But after that gets done, it's going to be phenomenal if they do it the right way, which I think they will. They've done everything the right way so far. Um, so I believe that they will. One last note, I believe that this repricer is specifically geared more towards wholesale, okay? When you look at what Dylan's doing, he does a lot of wholesale. I believe that this is more for people that do high volume, and that doesn't mean you can't use it with one-offs, like retail arbitrage, but there's going to be features to this that are geared towards the high volume, you know, selling a thousand of one item kind of seller, which is good. That's what I'm trying to do. That's where I'm at. Um, so there's good features there for me, but at the same time, um, some items where, you know, you might only have one or two in stock might leave a little bit to be desired. But again, there, this is still like, I think in beta. Okay. So the truth is, is that I don't know where this software is going to go. I think it's great now, and I think it's going to get better because you got to keep in mind, if you're comparing this to uh, Informed, Informed's been around for like five years. BQL's been around for like three or four years. This is the young kid in the game. So for me to be saying, hey, this is cool, but this needs to be added. Well, you know what? In three years, it's probably all going to be added. Probably by the summer. All of the things that I was critical of that I said, hey, they should add, it's probably going to be there, okay? So it's really coming along. It is really shaping up. There definitely are some issues maybe with it not being as polished as it could be with some of the features lacking, but I believe that they'll be coming out very shortly. So I like it. I use it actively currently, and I'm pretty darn happy with it. And price-wise, it works out pretty well. I don't remember off the top of my head what the price is. A little bit more expensive than BQ, a little bit less expensive than Informed and Seller Snap. So that's my review of Goora. Really great. If I had to give it a, I'd say it's like an A, which is great. <laughs> you know, like I'm happy with this. I recommend it to people all the time. I use it personally, and I'm actually going to put a discount code down in the comments. So. Uh, do check it out uh, if you are brand new to repricing. Goara is a great way to go. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.